Yeah. Diddy's going to be at, in Star Island awaiting what happens. We'll see. All right. So uh, I don't know if you guys seen this. So Lou Dirk's 10-year-old son. Lil, uh, Lil Dirk's 10-year-old son. By the way, you know another thing? Let me not even comment on the Lil Rod shit. The, the Lil Rod shit is so... Yo, if you see what's happening in court with the Lil Rod shit, it's so crazy. Because UMG Lawyers is going crazy on it. And that lawyer is known for these salacious things. I'm surprised he hasn't f filed maybe another declaration or maybe even another amended complaint if it would boast in their case if they're like oh little rod spoke to the feds and the, and the feds who are investigating him spoke to little rod and little rod is a victim but we haven't heard anything about little rod speaking with the feds not saying he didn't did or didn't but we haven't heard anything about that we all assume cassie has been speaking with the feds but uh, the Little Rod case is a is is is, is a very interesting one because it's the one that's um again the most activity of anyway. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen this. So Little Little Dirk's son and Dirk got about ten kids, but one, his son that was supposedly kind of living with the mom who had a dude uh, looked like the mom got into it with the guy who she was with, and they're calling they're calling this guy. Lil Durk's son's stepfather because he was dealing with the mom. And apparently Lil Durk's son, who's 10 years old, watched a altercation with his mom and his stepfather. And then the stepfather's gun fell to the ground and he grabbed the gun from the stepfather and shot the stepfather. Um, here is the surveillance video. Now, I think there's a delay on this audio. I think this is a kid here. And, and I, th I think this is where he shoots him, right? I, I see him stretch, his hands outstretched. And I think that's where he shoots him. Now, the audio, I think, is off because it doesn't look like you don't hear uh, the shot. You hear the shot here. You hear the shot here. But but this doesn't look like where the shot was at. Because if there was a gunshot, everybody would run. You know, you know what happens when people hear a gunshot? Everybody kind of startles back. When you hear it, you don't see people startle back here. Well, actually, well, you kind of see people run away. I'm pretty sure it's... I'm pretty sure it's here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's here. The audio is just off, I think. Right? Am I tripping? Okay. Now, it's kind of it's kind of difficult to kind of tell what was going on. It's kind of difficult to tell what was going on, but but the dude who got shot, he's explaining. He said, "As y'all could see, I was not the aggressor." Y'all could see how I had my gun on my hip. He grabbed my gun off my hip following his mom's lead and tried to shoot me and then actually shot me. I advise y'all see it before they take it down. Build awareness. Now, he continued to say, whatever makes y'all feel better, that's why I got custody of my kids and she don't. So I guess she's saying that Dirk got custody of the kid and she don't. Or maybe one of her other kids, I guess. Uh, it says... It says she don't. So internet, thank God, thank God, it was me that took the shot, not her. That's still my daughter's mom, but she knows. Oh, I guess they do have a kid together. That's still my daughter's mom, but she knows, like I know, God has always been good to me. Survivor. She he then explained, my gun was on my hip, and I was trying to protect myself from getting shot. I never in a million years thought a kid I bought four-wheelers and paid for football leagues and everything 
would do this, but he only knows. <coughs> sorry. He only knows what mom shows him. I still love him like he's mine. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, this nigga basically saying, Yo, I bought this nigga four wheeler. Why the hell would he shoot me? Why me? Uh, he then says, I pray our favorite rapper takes full custody of Romeo and I get full custody of mine. Call me what y'all want to call me. It's about the kids at the end of the day. Which, by the way, I think Dirk trolls him. <laughs> Dirk is, yo, Dirk ain't shit. I think Dirk trolled the nigga right here. Uh, he's like, save the money. Save that money for them kids, 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 kids. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yo, Dirk was probably so proud of his son. Uh, and then here is like an incident report looking like it's a police report. On July 2nd, FCM Dial interviewed Jerome Harris, 10, um, at the IMPD homicide. By the way, Jerome Harris, what's Dirk's name? What's Dirk's full name? Little Dirk. It's yeah, it's Dirk Banks, right? Why does Dirk's kid not have his last name? I wonder why why that's not a thing. Huh. Okay. Um on, on July second, F FCM Dial interviewed Jerome Harris, who's ten at the homicide office as part of the assessment um investigation. Jerome stated that he and his mother returned to Mr. Pippin's mother's home on July 1st, 2024. Miss Collier and Miss... And, oh, shit. What did, I, did I click off of some? Oh, sorry. Mr. Pippin's were in a... Uh, okay. Mrs. Collier and Mr. Pippin's were in a verbal fight. Jerome stated that he kept telling... Miss Collier to stop fighting with Mr. Pippins. Jerome stated that he then got out of the car, went over and pushed Mr. Pippins. Um, FCM Dial and Jerome asked Jerome if Miss Collier had a gun. He said yes, but hers didn't go off. He asked if Mr. Pippins was trying to go get the gun away from her. Jerome stated yes. Jerome admitted that Mr. Pippin's gun had fallen to the ground during the struggle. He picked up the gun and shot Mr. Pippin's to protect Miss Collier. Um, he stated that that he was scared that Mr. Collier was going to get shot, and they asked Jerome if he had ever if he ever been in a domestic violence if there's ever been any domestic violence between both of them in the past, and he said that they would yell at each other a lot. He said that she gets really mad really fast. So and so are at a vulnerable age ages and are reliant upon caregivers to ensure a safe and stable home, uh, free from domestic violence and neglect. It's unlikely that the aforementioned concerns will be addressed without the coercive intervention of the court. Based on the uh, blah, blah, child services respectfully request the court find Jerome Ellis, blah, blah, blah in need of service uh, to be children in need of services and find the coercive intervention of the court to be necessary. Um, that, uh, DCS is recommending continued removal of Jerome Ellis Jr. From mother. Uh, okay. So they're saying he should be removed. Recommends unsupervised visits from Joshua Pippins and Dirk Banks. What the hell? Read the comments. So somebody says, so the BM came to the victim's mom's house, damn near tried to shoot him. He tried to prevent her from shooting him by grabbing a gun. The son then misinterpreted this as the victim trying to attack the mom when he was trying to protect himself and dropped his own gun during the struggle. The kid then picks up the gun and shoots him. Yeah, take the mom and the son to jail. That man was not trying to get killed. He, he wasn't attacking no one. This is actually a pretty good breakdown. Yeah, it's kind of true. According to this write-up,
the baby mama came to the to to her nigga's mom's house, started an argument. She had a gun, like right. It said that she had a gun, and then somehow I guess he must have disarmed her. But then the gun dropped because he was struggling with her, and then the kid picked it up because he's like, "Damn, you 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 attacking my mom!" And then he shot the dude. Do you see the gun in any in any of these videos? Uh, I hate to sound like a broken record, but this is why you can't date single moms. Yeah, can't date single moms, man. And what I mean, you, you shouldn't be dating single moms. Obviously, you know, this ain't nothing where Dirk is, is really involved in doing anything. But once again, it's if you date a single mom and y'all live in the same household or you're trying to be a father figure, trust me, it's 1v2. At the end of the day, the kid's always going to side with the mom. The mom ain't never going to feel comfortable about you disciplining the child. And that child at the end of the day is thinking in the back of their head, that ain't my daddy. If it was mommy and daddy fighting like that, they would they would either start crying or try to break it up. You, you're a stranger, and you will get popped. So again, you know. By the way, there was a gruesome like photo of like uh, the dude's injuries, which I think it's blurred out though. Hold on, the dude got shot. I think he got shot in the stomach. Or something of the sort. I think the dude got shot in the stomach. Let me look. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where the fuck is it at? I know they covered it. I I didn't post the the. Uh, uh, where is it at? How come I could never find some shit? Lil Dirk's son. Twitter always has the shit. Oh, yeah. So, so right here. Yeah, just like as I thought. Yeah. Right, I think this that's right there where he shoots him. Now, there's a... Oh, by the way. Yo, this nigga in the hospital is still making TikToks after he got shot in the stomach. Oh, yeah, here it is. I'm up stomach. I'm up Yo, look at these stitches. Jesus Christ. Bro, they cut this nigga open like a fish. I'm barely the top. I'm a giant, man. I'm a survivor. It's late, too, huh? I know how to survive out here, man. That's the difference between me and these niggas, man. Bro, how... Respectfully, chat. How come when everybody gets shot or survived, they never say, thank God I could have died today. Thank God that I'm still here. God, you're watching over me. It's like they're always talking shit. Every time a nigga gets shot and you put a camera in front of him, he's talking shit. Yeah, I'm a survivor. Yeah, I make it out of it. Yeah, them pussy niggas couldn't get it done. Them niggas don't got no aim. Nigga, shut up. How about you just say, thank God I'm still here. Every time a nigga gets shot, he talking shit, man. Nobody want to hear about you being a survivor. It's late too, huh? I know how to survive out right here, man. Talking about you know how to survive. Nigga, how about you know how not to get shot? That's the difference between me and these niggas, man. Yo, this, your niggas would be get on camera. Yo, that's the difference between me and them, man. If they would have got shot like this, them niggas would have died. 
them, them bitch ass niggas would have died if they got this leg. I was like, me, uh, I'm, st I'm good. I'm, g what the fuck are you like? This is a weird flex. This is a weird flex. You don't beat yourself trying to beat me. Yeah, I'm straight, man. I shot him on my fucking stomach. Good. I be really going through it, man. I felt, I felt weird about yesterday. I swear to God, I did. I felt weird. I knew something was gonna happen. This nigga lie? Is he on IG Live or something? That shot in my stomach. I be really thinking that niggas ain't no reason why you're yo, you got all this bandage dubs, your stomach is stapled. Why are you on Instagram live? I gotta think that he's like, yo, when I get out of here, I gotta make sure I line up some sympathy pussy. So let me. Let me let me get online and show people that I'm hurt, but I'm I'm still strong and persevering. Cause when I get out of here, the amount of sympathy pussy I'm finna get is about to go through the roof. Cause that's the only reason I could imagine why he's on here, like doing this. I had to get surgery. I'm fucked up, y'all. This time way worse than last time. Not even the first time, bro. All right. So, yeah. And apparently, the kid in question is this kid right here. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what's crazy? Yo, a nigga gonna say, this is how I know people ain't shit. Somebody say, yo. They be like, yo. Even Dirk's son slid faster than Dirk. <laughs> yo, y'all look, look crazy. Y'all look crazy with them comments. It said Dirk. It said Dirk's son slid immediately, nigga. He slid immediately. Slide for it said. It said. It said. They said they're waiting for Dirk to slide for Vaughn. This nigga was sliding for mom. <laughs> like yo, <laughs> nah, y'all niggas is y'all niggas is burnt out for them comments, man. Y'all niggas is burnt out. Why the hell did this nigga? Yo, what the hell? Nigga, you look like a lizard. Why the fuck did you put this up on social media, my boy? Look what this thing going to say. I, I can't take as much pain. God wants me to take. Can you? Nigga, this ain't time for Q&As. Then the nigga going to put a little Dirk song over it. The voice. Tell my Dirk, come get your son. Nigga, what are you talking about? Then he said, listen, nobody is going to jail or they would already be there. I'm doing this for rights over my kids. Call me what you want. And on top of that, uh, this was at my mama's in front of my mama and granny and mo kids. I pray y'all make it through y'all situation that God going to put y'all through for playing with me. So I guess he said, nah, he's not trying to get nobody to go to jail. Is this the girl right here? I ain't gonna lie to you. You date a ratchet bitch like this, you gotta expect some stabbing, some shootings, like, no disrespect. You know what I mean? Like, Dirk got a kid with her? This must have been broke, Dirk. How the fuck, Dirk? Let me see. Queen Travone. This must have been broke, Dirk, bro. What the fuck? Little Dirk son. Mm. Let me see if I can find this page. Queen Travone. Yeah. It's down, it's down. 
They said supposedly, it says India Royale, which is Dirk's like girlfriend, reveals Dirk fathered a child with a woman named Travona after he publicly denied it two years ago. He shared a photo of Dirk on Father's Day with his children, along with the captions, Happy Father's Day, baby. In the photo was Romeo, who Dirk was previously publicly um, denied fathering. Oh, okay. Back in March 2021, Lil Dirk denied fathering a seven-year-old Romeo, uh, or a seven-year-old boy named Romeo. Romeo's mother, Travona, responded to him on her Instagram story saying him making a post leaving leaving Romeo name out don't make him not your son. He still got your blood in his veins, but continue for the internet. Oh, never mind. It's this kid over here. Well, I thought it was him right here. So it's this kid over here. So this is Romeo. And then this is Romeo with the OTF chain. And then this is what the mom said before. I feel where y'all coming from sending me the bullshit, he said. But at the same time, I don't care about a word, he says, because his word means nothing. How you the voice but leave your blood son out the mix for whatever reason. Shaking my head. When shit reveal itself once they catch up to him, I don't want no apologies. Um, well, I don't. Romeo the main one hurt. But everybody thinking about their own grown ass feelings and image. Why well, make a post instead of going to pick your kids up? Ain't like they finna read it. You do everything for the internet. Um, now, good night. I got a big day ahead of me. And another thing, him making a post, leaving not Romeo name, don't make him not your son. He still got your blood in his veins, but continue on for the internet. And then she said this on live. If you've made it known to a child that you're the parent, you're their dad, they're going to look for you. She said, they ain't just going to forget you and what y'all talked about and what y'all plan was. And then Dirk. Oh, I guess this is what Dirk said that the baby mom was responding to. Dirk said, how I'm the voice of the trenches. I take care of my kids, but I don't spend time with them. My goal is to have a better relationship with them, um, not something else or blame everybody around me. I'm a great father. I'm going to step it up and lock in because blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, and this is where he named his kids. He said Big Sky, Baby Sky, Bella, Willow, Doom, Angelo, and Zayden. Okay. All right. So if the kid's 10, that means he had a baby with her like in 2012. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's him with, yeah, okay. They said, meet Romeo Banks. Well, his, his last name is not Banks from, from what we're seeing. At least not according to that, that, uh, that incident report I just read. Dirk's 10-year-old son. Who has spin on his steps pops and left him on a stretcher for trying to put hands on his mom. A real neighborhood hero himself. Already in black Air Force activity <laughs> at the age of 10. Lil bro think he fun. Yo, the wildest thing to say, ill. The wildest thing to say is, yo, come get your kid, Dirk. <laughs> yo, your kid over here shooting me and shit. Come get your kid, Dirk. Dirk, come get your kid, bro. On phone him. On phone him grave, nigga. Come get your kid, bro. Come get your kid, Dirk. On the dead homies, come get your kid, man. Oh, my math was off? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, my math ain't mathing. Yeah, 10 years is 2014. You're right. Yo, it's 6 a.m., bro. It's 6 a.m. <laughs> OTF Romeo. <laughs> All right. Yo, this nigga Dirt got an orphanage over here, bro.
This nigga got an orphanage. Yo, is this is this one he had with the the OTF girl, the one that I said look, used to? She don't look like that no more. The one that used to look like Majibu, like his OG fat white girlfriend. This baby looked like he about to look like Zach Levine, man. All right. Hope for a speedy recovery, man. Hope for a speedy recovery. All right, <clears throat> enough, enough, enough of that shit. Let me see what, what else is going on. 